Hi there, Mitchell Sigmund from Acoustica Zeros and Ones blog. Today I want to talk about a really nifty new Mixgraph feature called publishing. Now, publishing lets you very quickly create audio or video files and get them uploaded to social media sites. So before I explain exactly how it works, let's go back and talk about uh, how you would generally finish a mix or a video. Usually when you're done with a project, you're going to hit Mixcraft's Mix Down to Audio or Video button. And then Mixcraft is going to create uh, an MP3 or a wave or a video file. And then you've got that file in your hard drive. And let's say you want to upload that to YouTube or Facebook or any other social media site. Usually you would go to whatever social media site you want to put it on. And you would go to whatever their upload page is. And then you would take that file and you'd probably drag and drop it and upload it and input some information about it. And off you go. Now, the idea of publishing is that you can skip that entire going to the social media website and uploading to their page. You can just render straight out of Mixcraft and go straight to a social media site without actually having to go to the website, which is really super neat. Now, it works on YouTube and Facebook and Vimeo and SoundCloud and Mixcloud, and you never have to leave Mixcraft. So uh, this is a great feature and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. I should also mention that you can also promote said audio or video on Twitter and or Facebook simultaneously, all from the same upload window in Mixcraft, all at the same time. Super quick, super easy, too good to be true. It's absolutely true. And let's have a look at how you do it. All right, so here I have a finished music project. And normally when I'm done with the project, as I mentioned before, you would bounce this to like an MP3 or a WAV file. And you do that with the mix down to audio file, which you can access right here. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to upload this straight to a social media site so we can skip this step altogether. And if you look over here, you can see this new button right here, which is called publish. And we can either press this button or we can hit file and select publish either way. And first Mixcraft is going to ask if I want to save any changes made. And it's usually a good idea to do that. So we'll hit yes. So now the publisher window opens and we have a couple options. And fortunately, it's pretty easy to understand everything it does. So let's look up here first to upload to. Over here, we have YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud, Mixcloud, and Vimeo. And these are all the sites you can upload your finished project to. So the first thing we'll need to do if we want to upload to a site is log into the site. So let's start with YouTube. So if you click this little checkbox right here, you're going to get a login window. And as you probably know, uh, you usually log into YouTube these days by logging into your Google account. And I'm going to skip over this little section so you don't have to watch me type all this stuff. If you're logging into YouTube, you're probably going to see a window like this. So we're going to say yes. We're going to allow Mixcraft to manage my YouTube account, my YouTube videos. And now if you look up here, you can see there's a green check up here in the box. And this indicates that we're logged into the YouTube account. You also have the option of logging into any of these other accounts. But for now, we're going to stick with YouTube. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in some information. And this is the stuff that shows up when you look at the YouTube page, the title of the video. And in this case, it's just going to be a song. So we'll call this my nightlife demo song <laughs> and a description. And down here, we can add some tags. And down here where it says promotional text, this is a uh, text you can enter that will appear on your Facebook or Twitter page if you're logged into those accounts. But we'll talk more about that function a little later. Okay, now we've got all our information filled in, and there's a few other things we need to set up. First of all, there's a status box here. And if you've uploaded videos to YouTube before, you know that you can set your videos to public, unlisted, or private. Since we want everybody to be able to see it, I'm going to put this on public. And then uh, it might have occurred to you that since YouTube is a video site and I'm just uploading a song, we need an image to go with it because YouTube won't let you upload just a music file that doesn't have an image associated with it. So you have a couple options here. The easiest thing you can do is to choose one of Mixcraft's built-in images. And these are little small thumbnail sized images, but they'll show up full size in the actual YouTube video. And you can just hit the arrows here and select from a couple different ones. Or if you want, you can upload your own image. And here I have a bunch of images. Uh, there's a picture of my old band. We'll use that. And uh, now it's going to upload that image. Now, Mixwrap is pretty smart about image sizes, but generally it's good to use an image with a 16:9 HD aspect ratio, which comes out to 1280 pixels by 720 pixels, or any uh, multiplication or division thereof. If the picture isn't the right dimensions, you'll end up with these letterbox bars either above and below or on the sides of the picture, and it's not a big deal if that happens. 
The next thing you'll need to choose is render quality. Now this actually sets the quality of the video and audio that Mixcraft is outputting. Now the higher the quality, the larger the file size is going to be. So that can make a difference as far as uploading. But unless you have a really, really slow internet connection, I would just set this to high. And the next thing you can set up is include Mixcraft logos and sounds. And what this does is it puts a quick little video clip that's a few seconds long that says made with Mixcraft in a much cooler voice than I just set it in with a cool little graphic. So you might want to check these out and uh, we'll be really happy with you if you include these two because it lets everyone know how rad we are and how rad you are for using Mixcraft. So you can select these before and or after. I'm going to put them before and after because I work here. The next thing you'll want to set up is the promote on section. The promote on section allows you to put some text down here which will be uploaded to your Facebook or Twitter account and this obviously allows you to promote your video or your song and it also includes a link which you select over here so here it's just saying YouTube because it's the only thing I'm logged into but you can choose one of your social media accounts over here for the post to link to. So I'm going to click over here in the little box and this will prompt me to log into my Facebook account. All right, again, I skipped over the login process so you wouldn't have to watch me type, but here's my Facebook promo text over here, and it's going to put in a link to YouTube. So we're pretty much ready to go here. So I'm going to hit the publish button, and you can see that it's actually rendering my song. And when it's done rendering, it's going to upload it, and this whole process is automated. Once the file is completed uploading, Mixcraft shows a results report here. And you can see there's a link right here to our YouTube video, so let's click on that guy and open it up. Made with Mixcraft. And that's that intro I told you about. And here's our song. And if I go to my Facebook page, we can see the promo text that I put up there. So let's click on my Facebook page. Here it is on my Facebook page, and here's the promotional text that I put in, and the tags. And if I click on it, it'll go to YouTube. Made with Mixcraft. Now, one of the coolest things about the publishing feature is that if you're logged into any of these sites, you can upload all these simultaneously. So basically, you just set it up, walk away, and it uploads everything all at once. Um, there are some limitations you should be aware of, which are probably pretty obvious. Like if you're doing a video, uh, obviously, you can't upload a video to SoundCloud or MixCloud because those are audio-only sites. Uh, but the good news is MixCraft is smart, and it will still upload the audio portion, uh, just not the video portion. Also, you should be aware that the status here, where you set whether it's public or private, this varies a little bit depending on the site. Some sites don't have privacy controls. Uh, some have fewer options. Some have more options. And MixCraft usually handles it in a way that's pretty seamless. Just be aware that depending on the site, Mixcraft may handle the status a little differently, but it's pretty smart about it and usually does what you want it to do. Another thing to be aware of is that if you're promoting on Twitter, the text down here needs to be 140 characters or less, or Mixcraft will uh, cut it off at 140 characters. So don't write something super long if you're uploading to Twitter.